the greatest threat to any organisation is not coming from the outside. It's not competitors, it's not new technologies. It's actually the fear that resides within its walls, the fear that keeps people from speaking up, from challenging old ideas and from contributing new ones. Fear as an emotion is contagious. It's a very human emotion, but too often fear keeps people from engaging in the crucial conversations that need to occur for people to come up with new ideas, to find better solutions, to address old problems. There's five core ways that leaders can contribute to fostering a culture of courage. The first is, of course, to role model courage, to really be an example for others of you being willing to lay your own safety and security and reputation on the line for a cause that's more important. Secondly is normalising loyal dissent, making it safe for people to challenge the what you're talking about, to challenge each other, to share their mistakes, to share their learnings. Third is letting people know that you've got their back, that even if what they do doesn't land just as they'd like, it's not spelling the end of the world. When all leaders do is focus on the consequences of failure, it enlarges the holes in people's psychological safety nets. The fourth is to build psychological safety. That is how comfortable people feel sharing with those around them and taking interpersonal risks. And psychological safety has been found to be the number one determinant of high performing teams. And finally is to acknowledge people's concerns and anxieties. You know, when people know that you care about what they care about, it fosters a sense of belonging and connection and everyone does their best when they feel that they're part of a team and that people around them care about what they care about.